Living things can be distinguished from non-living things by their ability to reproduce. All organisms are made up of cells which constantly divide and multiply. Cells divide when they need to replace injured or dead cells. 300 million cells are replaced in our bodies every minute without our ever noticing. Why do cells divide? First, for reproduction. Cells divide in order to make new organism. Second, for growth. Cells divide to enable multicellular organisms to grow and develop from a single cell. Third, for repair. Cells divide to replace the old worn out cells with new cells. Phases of cell cycle. The cell cycle describes the life and times of our typical cell. The cycle is divided into two phases. They are, interphase and cell division. Start is located in the period known as G1 phase of the cell cycle whereas the period during which DNA synthesis occurs is known as S phase. The period between the end of S and the beginning of mitosis is known as G2 phase of the cell cycle. Mitosis itself is known as M phase. Growth and normal metabolic roles occur during G1 phase while DNA replication occurs during S phase. G2 phase of cell cycle represents growth and preparation for mitosis. This is then followed by mitosis which involves numerous phases. They are propase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Cell division consists of mitosis followed by cytokinesis. Cells that are not actively dividing are said to be in genode or known as a resting phase. Without we even realize it, there are many events in cell cycle that can be looked upon and gives us many lessons and benefits. These events can be related with Islamic perspectives in many ways. Firstly, Cell cycle checkpoints are regulatory pathways that control the order of cell cycle transitions. It helps to verify whether the processes at each phase of the cell cycle have been completed before progression into the next phase. It also helps to assess the damage in cell. When damage is found, checkpoint arrest the cell cycle for repair. If repairs cannot be made, Checkpoint will target the cell for destruction via apoptosis. However, in some case, there are cells that ignore the instruction of checkpoint. Cells progress to the next phase of cell cycle before the previous phase is properly completed. This checkpoint failure often causes mutations and genetic damage. These lead to malignant transformation and evolution of normal cells into cancer cells. It can be related to Islamic perspective in the way that the Prophet Muhammad said, Surely, there is in the body a small piece of flesh. If it is good, the whole body is good. And if it is corrupted, the whole body is corrupted, and that is surely, the heart. Based on above hadith, the good or bad characters of human, are come from hearts. Heart is like the king of all members of body, while other members are military. If heart is good, it will point the body to goodness. If it is damaged, it will direct the body to do any harm. As a Muslim, we must ensure that our heart is good and pure. This means free from any sins, hatred and negative things. If our heart is corrupted, our deeds will always turn towards evil. These can lead to the corruption of whole body, which man will be resulted to bad akalak, such as hot-tempered, arrogant and jealousy. In conclusion, if cell cycle checkpoint mechanisms are in a good condition, it will result to the good production of cell. If it is mutated, Many diseases like cancer will result. It can be related to our heart. If the heart is good, it results to noble moral behavior. If it is damaged, the behavior will be bad.
To relate this checkpoint with Islamic perspective, we actually can further look at the Salah. As a Muslim, we know that Salah is a compulsory action which is also regarded as the important ibadah in our life. We need to perform our obligatory prayer five times in a day in order to make sure our life are going smoothly and we always get blessing from Allah. It is actually as the checkpoint in our whole day that we are going through. Our soul and body needs a stop or rest to recharge back our energy when we are really busy with the worldly matter. By performing the Salat, we can also refrain ourselves from doing bad thing. Holy Quran stated that. In short, Salah is regarded as the checkpoint in Muslim daily life. Cell cycle is regulated by various signal. These signal plays important role in deciding when the cycle is needed to proceed or stop. Failure to obey the signals given will lead to cancerous cell which fatal to living organism. This regulation is in line with Allah's miraculous creation which is perfect in every way. What was more, He's not only create, He also guide every single things that He create. As stated in Holy Quran, بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى We also can see that cell cycle process occurs in an appropriate manner. Sequential and regulated activation of each phase is dependent on the proper progression and completion of the previous one. This is known as the law of the clock. The molecular events that control the cell cycle are ordered and directional. That is, each process occurs in a sequential fashion and it is impossible to reverse the cycle. In Al-Quran, Allah said that. <laughs> From this verse, we can reflect that everything in this world, visible and invisible, occurs in accordance with His laws. There is no other than Allah that governs and controls the laws of nature. The cell cycle showed that it has a fixed direction process which is obviously function according to the laws and patterns of Allah. From here we can look how from a single cell develops into a human being, how the development of multicellular organisms occurs right after fertilization up until evolving into life grown up human being. The continuity of life, without any objection, is mainly based upon the unique and complex process which is cell cycle. Every detail mechanisms in the cell cycle play their functions and roles significantly and interdependently to each other in order to complete one process of cell cycle. Such a unique process, there must have a creator to it. There can't be an existence without the creator, and the creator for such process must be the most magnificent, the wise, the supreme and the fashioner of form, which is no other. But Allah. ذلكم الله ربكم لا إله إلا هو خالق كل شيء فاعبدوه وهو على كل شيء وكيل. Hence. We as mankind should take a deep thought and reflect ourselves. We can see here that this creative, 
unique and complex process is one of the proofs of the power of Allah by observing all of the creation of Allah. We can clearly discover the reality and the truth, the power and the glory of Allah. So, let this process as one of the signs of Allah to be a reminder to elevate a belief toward Him and eventually make us closer to Him. وفي الأرض آيات للموقنين وفي أنفسكم أفلا تبصرون